Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting lovely fall flower chrysanthemum in a glass vase. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. Today I'm using acrylics and I have my usual set of colours, titanium white, primary yellow, raw sienna, raw amber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and alizarin crimson. I want bright autumn colours in my background so I'm starting off with primary yellow and I will include alizarin crimson, uh, raw sienna, and raw amber and maybe a touch of French ultramarine blue. And I should say sap green. I'm going to use the alizarin crimson, the raw amber and the French ultramarine blue in the lower part of the painting um, because it will act as my tabletop and it will give a nice grounding base to the painting. I'm going to add titanium white just to the top part of the painting to make the yellow and the green a little more opaque and a little paler. I'm going to use this nice fluffy brush and blend um, the entire background. I'm using raw sienna and a small round and I'm going to put my uh, chrysanthemum blossoms in and the stems and probably trace in the vase as well. to reinforce the outline of the vase with some titanium white. I'm using a 9 by 12 canvas and there's only room for a hint of a reflection in the tabletop. I'm going to use some sap green and put in the centres of the chrysanthemums which you actually won't really see um, but when I put the petals in it will draw up some of the colour and um, give that sort of hint of a centre to the blossom. While I have green on my brush I'll put in some leaves uh, chrysanthemum leaves are rather sort of raggedy looking um, and I'll only put in three. I really want the picture to be all about the chrysanthemum flower itself and um, three leaves will be sufficient I think.
I'll add some green to the stems as well. Um, I sometimes put alizarin and um, other raw sienna, raw umber. I like to get as much colour as I can into each element. I'm trying to indicate light shining through the vase onto the tabletop and I'll be adding more colour to that as I go along. Making glass look like glass is a bit of a process. It's all about adding reflected colour and um, highlights here and there and reflections from windows things like that. The petals that are further away appear shorter and in some cases they're just like little dashes of um, titanium white to indicate the tops of the petals, the only part that we see. I'm using a pale blue to put in the reflected light on the shadow side of the vase. I have the light coming from my left um, and it will be much brighter on that side of course. The glass vase would pick up the uh, reflection of the leaves so I'm adding sap green to that and I might sneak in a few other colours. I've already got blue on one side and um, it does make your painting look a little more lively um, if you can get some different colours like um, alizarin crimson. I'm going to put that on the stems 
I usually do add it to my stems, especially uh, when I'm painting roses. You do see a bit of red in roses, don't you? My little trick for enhancing the look of glass is to put in a reflection of a window and um, I also try and use a dry brush and sweep all my um, downward strokes around the side of the glass and that sort of enhances the curve of the glass. I hope I've explained that right. The white loses its brightness as I sort of paint over it uh, with different colours and it dries and I do like to keep that nice crisp whiteness so I reinforce that every now and then. I go through tubes of white. Well, there's not much left to do. Perhaps um, a few more lights and brights here and there and perhaps some um, light on the leaves, I think. So I've mixed some primary yellow, sap green and white and I'm just putting a touch of uh, light on the leaves that are on the light side where the light is coming from. So once the painting dried, I signed it using an acrylic paint pen. So that's really all there is to it. It's quite an easy and fast painting to do. Um, give it a go, see how you get on. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you very much for watching, especially if you got this far. And I really appreciate that. And did I say give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button? That helps the algorithm find me because there are thousands of videos uploaded every day. And um, 
just a like will help me swim to the top of the heap. Bye for now and I'll see you next time.